Hello. I'm going to explain during the course of this video why the scientific method is a useless tool in arriving at uh, uh, accurate scientific uh, conclusions. And I'll explain why uh, a much better tool uh, called the story method uh, is far superior. Now, some of you hearing this are probably going to say, you're going to be surprised, you're going to be shocked. And if you are, it's probably because some science teacher somewhere uh, poisoned your brain into thinking that the uh, scientific method is use useful in reaching scientific conclusions. And during the course of this video, I'm going to show you that it is not, and that what you really need to use is what I call the story method. Now, the teachers who poisoned your mind and made you believe unjustly that the scientific method is useful, have probably told you lies like this. They probably said that the scientific method is responsible for things like life-saving drugs, disease-resistant crops, even such things as allowing humans to send other humans to the surface of the moon, or allowing humans to send uh, satellites to the surface of Mars, or to send satellites beyond the Earth's solar system. And of course, all of that is rubbish. Sure, those things have been done, but the scientific method had nothing to do with it. And as I, as you'll see here, uh, you'll, you'll understand completely how useless it is. Um, these same teachers who, who poisoned your brain about believing that the scientific method is useful have probably also told you that the scientific method is responsible for uh, conveniences that you take for granted in your everyday life, things like air conditioning, refrigeration, cell phones, TVs, and even your own personal computer. But after you've watched this video, you'll realize that none of that is true. Uh, yes, those things exist, but the scientific method is just absolutely useless in coming up with scientific conclusions to uh, design products like this or to do research. And uh, you'll also see that the scientific method is not only useless in arriving at accurate scientific conclusions, but it's a colossal waste of time, absolute colossal waste of time. And I'll explain why. Now, the way I'm going to explain this is I have some aluminum foil here. And this truck behind me is a um, 2006 Ford F-150 pickup truck. It has a 5.4 liter, three valve V8 engine. This is the same engine that is in the 2004 F-150 uh, Ford pickup truck. It's the uh, 5.4 liter uh, Triton three valve V8 engine. Now, what I'm gonna do is I've got some aluminum foil here, and I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum foil off of the uh, off of the um, roll here, and I'm going to put it into this exhaust pipe. And what I'm going to prove to you is that the instant I put the uh, aluminum foil into this exhaust pipe, that I've interfered with this truck in a manner so as to endanger human life. And I'm not only going to prove that to you, but I'm going to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. So, the format we're going to follow is this. First, we'll walk through what some idiot would do using the scientific method. First thing you would do is form a hypothesis. And so when I say that I'm going to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the moment I put this into the exhaust pipe that I interfered with this truck in a manner so as to endanger human life, um, we're going to um, test that. We're going to test it the way you would with the scientific method. Um, which you'll conclude is useless. And then I'll, I'll show you how to do it with the story method. So the first step in the scientific method would be you'd have to form a hypothesis. And your hypothesis would be what I just said, that uh, the moment this aluminum foil goes into the uh, uh, tailpipe, that it interferes with the truck in a manner so as to endanger human life. 